right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Apothecary Diaries, episode eight. eight. Mama was at home. She's at home. And like She's actual sleeping home. on the floor mm -hmm. and having just a nice little quiet time with dad. Yep. And dad, yeah, your daughter had a really crazy twist of fate. Oh, She's, yes. She's, yes, had the whole I was taken from mm -hmm. you, but also she's thriving where she's oh at. yeah 10 months later and she's like one of the most important people in the land like like, like one of the most important ladies in the rear palace right like like, like that she's doing well for like herself if there's a list of 25 women in the palace uh-huh she's like on that list yeah like she's on that list right right that's uh -huh. fucking nuts like, yeah like, she got personally visited by the emperor. Yeah. Like, that's... Uh, what? <laughs> so, yeah. How, how do you feel about all this? I'd, I'd mm -hmm. love to see what your thoughts are with this. But also, just like, yeah, seeing you two together would be really, really sweet and wholesome. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, she's running a, uh, a scam deal for the... Uh, no, no, no. The, uh, <laughs> the guy who's, uh, you know, getting scam. introduced and mm -hmm. stuff so that they can bait him in with some good... Uh, some he good... Uh, some really good, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's, finish it's better that, if I don't. It's better if I don't <laughs> say. You know, it just hits. It hits better if I don't see, say. You know, see, a certain je ne sais quoi. In 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 other situations, somebody mm -hmm. might have a sand timer that they flip over for. Like, okay, now I can. You know, I'm on vacation. I can go home. You know, whereas Mau Mau, she has a different kind of timer. <laughs> it's it's filled with fluid, and when that fluid runs out, she's got to go home. <laughs> It's or time, gotta go back. It's time to go back, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. But yeah, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> yeah. It's always a fun feeling, just like, oh, right, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dang, at his age, too. Mm-hmm. Dang, yeah.自分で育てた薬草で薬作るのが好きなんだよな。うん。あ。あ。何の意味かわからない。よその顔の親父なら。おう、シェイ。サモンズ。サモンズダイング。シェイ、シェイ。何の意味。おう、シェイ。おう。
Oh, the straws, maybe? Yeah. Whoa! Dad. Yeah. <laughs> この親父は花町では珍しくもない心中だろう。いない男と年季の明けない女が揃えば、そんなことばかり思いつくのだ。ダム。しかしあの男、顔立ちも甘く、金にも女にも困りそうな。偏見で考えると、そうだ。Okay
Gotcha. Because someone came... Okay. Alright. Fuck. But she got rid of him. In that respect. He's still alive, but he's not gonna come back here. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is why your dad just... You're overthinking this. It's already yeah. over. Yeah, they all could have been in on it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. I like that this is potentially a prelude to a bigger plot of what's going right. on in the palace, you know? Uh-huh, and this lesson could be very important And yes, it is no different, right. Trapped air poisons everyone. Whoa, yeah. Fuck, that's... That's poetic. Yeah. And sad. Maybe, but it's not in your mm -hmm. place, yeah. But I get a nice bath, so... Oh. This is one of the three... Mm. The three, yeah. あ、ね、しだぞ、バイリンも諸科も、そんなこと一言も。ああ、ねえ、しだぞ、バイリンも諸科も、そんなこと一言も。ああ、ねえ、しだぞ、バイリンも諸科も、そんなこと一言も。
And Gaussian's just like, I... I... In some ways, I'm I'm happy this is happening. Maybe he'll eventually just drop his you know weird obsession with you. Yeah, I, I don't know, but like he just can't be an impartial you know person right. while while you're. I around. mean, he was even turned on when you were like all derisive to him. So like, <laughs> the fact that you're just like casually ignoring him, I this is probably the most effective strategy we we can. Now use. even 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 worse, she's 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 proudly. Yeah. Proclaiming, she's like, "Oh yeah, I did the best. Yeah, I did the best." And he's just like, ah! "Gushin's just like, well, at least I know he's not a cuck now." True, true. He's like, "All right, thinks he's not in two. Check. Okay." <laughs> oh fuck, that was funny. The the amount of time that we got Jinshi just frozen there in in <laughs> just dead. <laughs> And and the 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 reason for the miscommunication and stuff makes total sense. Yes, yeah, she would take pride in her work, and she's yeah. like, "Yep," and she paid for that. You know, like that's that's a big deal. All okay, right. The episode gave us the full rabbit hole. Oh yeah, she dove all the way mm -hmm. in. Mau Mau is like, "Oh mm -hmm. shit, this goes all the way through the, the trail." Or, or wait, 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 wait. Nope, nope. Can't speculate. Stop, Once I start stop. doubting, uh -huh. I'm just gonna start questioning everything. Yeah, this was a very satisfying way to have a thing that's brought up, have it resolved in the mm -hmm. episode. We don't need to know all the details of exactly how it happened, no. but there were plenty of twists and turns along the way. While at the same time, the resolution at the end of her realizing what probably happened, just not necessarily knowing to the for certainty. How, no certainty. Yeah, and and if so, how how many people were in on it? You know, right, right. Um, that that was that was very like a, that was a very satisfying return to form. Yeah, like, basically that she in the rear palace doesn't end up being involved in the punishments that go about once she figures out what's going on. Mm -hmm. But also, because of that being a place where they are telling her, we want your conjecture, yep. they then operate on that. So sure. you need mm -hmm. to realize the value of, in some ways, reserving your conjecture right. or making your judgments based on conjecture because lots of people's lives can be changed mm -hmm. by the way that you do that. Yes, we, we saw an example of that a few episodes ago, but... In this case here, it's the, no, even more could many lives be changed by this. Your life and your father's life in some ways could be changed. So if mm -hmm. he's deciding not to make any do with it and he knows potentially more than you based on his yep. expertise, then it's not your place to say anything. This was a very, like, n not just internally satisfying with regards to how the plot of the episode went down, mm -hmm. but I really like what it represents or what it gave me as a better perspective and appreciation for Mau Mau's expertise mm -hmm. because... Um, we don't need to understand all of the different ways that she ends up coming to the conclusions, right? right? It's the, ah, she can see that, like, there is the possibility of this being the thing, but the what makes her be like, ah, this is what the problem is or whatever, um, the, that problem-solving skills, that... Well, she I, learned it over the course of years with her right, father. Yeah. Right, it shows, it shows how she learned it, but as a result of that, it's I'm able to have a better, like, immersion and respect for that trade, mm -hmm. and it's not just... Oh, she just happens to be really good. Oh, hey, we have the mm -hmm. super talented person that is going to tell everybody in the show what's what. You know, like mm -hmm. it's the no. This is a skill set that she has developed over time, and she is still developing yes. and showing some of the ways in which she doesn't, you know, know things. She doesn't. Right. Figure she has things to out. end up relying on speculation. Right. Which she sometimes ends up in a lot of ways doing what I end up doing when I do like theories for anime. Sure. Yeah. following the patterns that I want to find and then seeing if there's anything that supports that. But then you can end up conforming the mm -hmm. viewpoint of something around it so that it fits. Right. Which and is then not, suddenly that's not the scientific the method. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So so the idea that, ah, her father is like, no, don't base stuff on conjecture. Mm -hmm. But also, we are literally just there to address the medical issue at hand, not to say yeah. we saved who two did lives. it or whatever. Yep. Potentially only just one though, which is fun. I loved I loved that way in which she sussed out the straw with the heavy liquid because I I remember the two drink colors and I was mm -hmm. like, huh, that is interesting. But I yeah. never thought anything of it. And uh -huh. then it's the oh, that actually was very right. important. And that's I, why the straws are such a big deal. Exactly. I figured the straws would be important, but right. yeah. And and I have absolutely done that with certain drinks. Yes. Or when it has like layers a, to it, like yeah. a, a, a Thai iced tea. 
Yep. Where, where it's, it's got like the, the creamy the stuff at the top at and the then bottom. the syrup at the bottom. Yep. I don't just like drink from one spot. I like raise my, I, I look really weird doing it, but I raise my straw in between because I like to be able to control how much of one I get, but I don't want to like mix the whole thing. So it's all it, completely disseminated. So it's completely disseminated because it also looks cool, but then also I can like get You can as choose much, what kind of drink you want. Yeah, for each for specific sip. sip, right? Yeah. Um, so the fact that it's like, no, we actually use that as a way to mask the poisoning while at the same time setting it up so that it looks like a double suicide and while the the uh the patron is going to know they just tried to kill me right and i don't know how many people were involved with that but definitely the person that i was seeing and so what they might have just done the brothel might have just done is basically said get the fuck out of our brothel sure so it's the we just protected all the women here from mm -hmm. you because we know you yep. won't be back because you can't pin this on us exactly we have in fact a reason to get mad at you because oh you did this and then it's just your word against ours and because the evidence supports what we what we're saying right right and you're not you're not some you know you're not some emperor's son you're right. a merchant's son you're wealthy but you're wealthy we're also a business too yeah. so um you're an our turf you mm -hmm. choose to come in here and make accusations against yep. us. Well, where's the burden of proof? Mm -hmm. Oh, you have none? Like, get the fuck out of here, right. you stupid boy. Yeah, exactly. What, you're going to try and blacklist us? You know, <laughs> tell people, like, don't go to that place. Good right. luck. Yeah, sure, man. Yeah, we definitely shouldn't go there. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. All in some ways it would take in a lot of ways is to end up having him start stirring up shit. And then they're like, go give us a reason. Give right. us a reason. And yet, we'll, we'll, we'll send your name to every brothel in the country. And yet they don't have to deal with the reputational risk nope. of being somebody that blacklists people from their brothel because that'd also probably be bad for business and the customer no, experience. No, I, I disagree. I, I think in a lot of ways that happens more often than you'd think. No, no, not that it doesn't happen, but the fact that they, um, for somebody, like the fact that they were able to avoid the appearance of that essentially well, that's with regards they were saying that with regards to the fact that people would die on the premise that oh no, was, no no yes that is the that's the ultimate blacklisting has no negative effects on their reputation um no. I, like that's that's a that's a like for this profession specifically the idea of blacklisting people nope that's that's the most tried and true like basic thing because then it's the it's a legitimate threat because if you blacklist yeah. somebody over here there's kind of the code of like oh they, they they were blacklisted over there. Then we're gonna blacklist them too. No, no, right. But if but if it if instead of it being a blacklist thing, if it's the oh, um, you know, uh, one of the patrons tried to convince one of our uh, our workers to do a double suicide. That's a thing of oh, those two people rather than necessarily the establishment. Whereas if the establishment is the you know like that, I could see that being something where then you know that would that would be potentially off-putting to some of the customers that go there that maybe aren't perfect customers, but, you know, no, why? but aren't that's, to the level of blacklist. But that's not even like a focus in the episode. They, they they bring up the whole thing that the thing that would be hurting the reputation entirely is just if somebody died there. Like... Oh, right, yeah, because they were planning on... Yeah. Yeah. Right, they, they, it was an intentional poisoning, so... Right, right. Yeah. Uh -huh. in, in a lot of ways, that's how bad it was. They were willing to risk the reputation loss uh, right. to of, actually yes, put, of and that's having why, to do that's that. That's why it's not certain that everybody was in on it, uh -huh. is that... Because that would actually be problematic for the brothel. Right, right. Yeah. But it it's could more likely that, than not that more than right. just the courtesan and the, the girl uh -huh. were in on it. And yet it might be the thing where the, you know, the obachan, right, that gives the hush money is the, no, I don't necessarily know what the situation is either, oh, yeah. but I'm going to make sure that whatever happened, the past is the past, I can't change it, but I can change what happens now. Don't talk about this. Yeah. You know, sure. Yeah. yeah, I like it. And we're not dealing in the world of social media. So no, exactly. this guy is probably not going to make some big deal about how, you know, he was poisoned or something like that. Because then it's the, now he's throwing false accusations around. Well, And, and then he could get actually blacklisted. And in order to actually have, uh, making the social media comparison in another way, um, social media posts, you can just make the post once and then leave it there and it'll do the work on its own in a lot right. of ways, right? Yeah. Whereas in something like this, no, he would have to like actively <laughs> circulate that and, and yeah, be like, yeah. you know, no, no, did you hear? I, I got poisoned there. It's like, oh, bro, shut the fuck up. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Like that's, he's not going to want to do that. No, like, no. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's, it's a fun mystery to let sit out there because rather than what the intent was being mm -hmm. some great mystery, it's, how many people were okay with this? Yeah, it feels very similar to the yeah. um, the the courtesan that was 
or the concubine that was dancing, mm-hmm. so that that way, you know, like she'd seem sick and all that stuff and right. whatever. That way, like the person that she loved could actually like be with her. And sure. it's like, oh yeah, is that actually what the situation is? Possibly, but we don't know. Yeah. And that just adds to the wonderful element of mystery in the uh, calm, relaxed, normal, everyday episodes of the show Mm -hmm. that still feels in line with when it goes into the intrigue side of things. That they are setting up even more so for the rear palace. So once she comes back, she's been given a little bit of a taste of, yeah, you're Mm. probably going to end up bumping into some things that remember what your rules were. When you entered into this whole situation, keep your head low. Mm-hmm. Don't make waves. Try to be, you know, you know, hush hush quiet. Don't stuff. don't piss off my bosses, you know. Or you know, make them hopelessly in love with you. Yeah, to yeah, the exactly. Point that they, uh-huh. Like right. literally shut down. I cannot tell you how much the like goofy this mm-hmm. style of thing where they simplify the art to have the characters oh, yes. have these chibified, goofy yep. faces yep. and stuff. Mm-hmm. I love. This humor so much, oh, yeah. but it's not just that. Her voice actress, Mau Mau's voice actress, does such a good job of mm-hmm. delivering her lines yes. in combination during these funny scenes. It is incredible. It, it is, it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh-huh. it twists my gut in that perfect funny kind of way. Yes. Oh my god, absolutely. I. Uh. It's it's. I'm torn because on the one hand, there's that part of me that's waiting for the other shoe to drop. Where yes. she realizes, and then she's like, oh, oh, that, huh. You know, right? Like, that recontextualizes some things. Right, right. Well, at the same time, like, everybody else that's watching and just like, no, we're not telling her anything. We could, but we're not going to. <laughs> and then it's Gaoshin who's eventually going to end up getting, like, slapped by uh, Mao Mao. Because she's like, hey, what the hell, Gaoshin? Why didn't you tell me? He's like, because I didn't want him to. What? What was that? <laughs> Because I wanted him to get over you. What? No. Are you? <laughs> like, 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 I thought you were gonna say like, because I actually like one of the other concubines. And, uh... No, no, no. Just the idea that he's just been he's been looking after Jinchi for so mm-hmm. fucking long. Yep. And he's just like Jinchi. Oi, Jinchi. What? 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 Uh, 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 he's yeah. like, bro. Uh, wake the fuck up. Yeah. You know. <laughs> we got shit to do. You can't be out here. And yet, and yet, the thing is, the thing is, okay. I think I just think that love him even more. <laughs> I think that eventually he actually will be the one to tell her because she'll just like get so frustrated. Like, yes. she doesn't really care right now, right? She's oblivious and she doesn't care. Yes, but she could end up asking him, and I could see him telling her because it's the okay. So here's the situation. <laughs> I've told you before that you know even when you scold him, he kind of likes that. This is this is problematic. Will right. you please help me? I know that you don't like him, so uh, you don't, right? You know, right? Uh, please help me. <laughs> Like, uh, and then she's it, gonna it, hit it, him with the. Well, it's not like I hate him or anything. And he's no! Like, oh, no! Fuck! Uh, no! And okay. he's just gonna go to the yeah. wall, and just start banging his head. Oh, yeah, full on, no game, no life. <laughs> exactly! Just, yeah. Yeah. All right, here's a crazy theory. <laughs> not theory. This would what? be funny. Okay. New episode. Yes. Gaoshin comes to her. Mm. It's desperate. There's a medical emergency. <laughs> she's like, what is it? It's a it's a it's an emergency of of the of the heart his bi- biological stuff it's a problem please fix this he, you know he, right he, like he's <laughs> depressed he won't work now <laughs> yeah can you like give him something yeah, uh, I didn't know. fine you know, right like Jinji sama no oh god no wake up please he's like no <gasps> don't encourage him okay if you want to see that face again don't talk to it Mary don't encourage it <laughs> like I. I, I want so bad the like the 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 two the two like basically straight men of this series, you know, yes. Gaoshan and Mao Mao right. to basically just like team up. And yes. you know I mean they already kinda have. They they bit. already kind of have, but like in a more like overt way where it's the okay, yeah. you know, and then they stand back to back and are like, All right, let's move, you know. <laughs> I just I just love this this uh-huh. whole reveal here, I grant him a night of blissful dreams. Because you know where my mind went mm-hmm. to? I'm so, like, mystery torqued right now that I'm noticing the fact that he's grabbing the cup the same way the alleged poisoner <laughs> did. Like, that's that's where my brain went for well, this instant. That was, I'm like, <gasps> he grabbed it the same way. That <gasps> was something that also felt kind of odd. Like it Because they said it was while it was stirring it, but, like, you can stir something while, like, holding it from the bottom. Yes, like, yes. It, but so yeah. it could have been from the bottom, and it probably was from the bottom. But 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 just the placement of the fingers is uh-huh. basically the same. Right. It's like no, he's just he's just doing a holding the cup of tea, you know. And then it's like, but what if, what if, what if? 
No, no, no. I'm not thinking that he's the poisoner. I'm oh, just, you're just, I'm like just seeing I'm just, the connection. I just saw the thing, and I'm like, <gasps> wait. Yeah. And then I also love looking at hands any time that they're in animation and stuff because it's hard to animate hands. Like, oh, yeah, you, absolutely. You know so, anything, artists hate drawing hands for that very reason. But even more so, if you're animating, that's a bunch uh -huh. of drawings of the same hands. So, yep, yep. so the fact that they're showing his hands in all this detail, and then <laughs> he's like, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then this thing that could have been like a very serious moment where like he gets angry and flies off the handle. No, or something. no, no. He's they just... lean entirely into the comedy oh, side yeah. of it, which I'm so glad they did. And even with the the cup being dropped and everything, almost as if she just poisoned him there yes. with those words, right? Yes. You know? Yeah. Yes. Exactly. And then she just goes and cleans it up very dutifully, and it's like, okay, all right. And whoosh. Bye. And I just love that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The different the different expressions, right? <laughs> Hong Yang is there, just like angry. Like, like how could you do this? You, you, you what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're going to bring frustration and problems. You already to have, me, and, and because then sure. I'm going to need to get reprimanded about how you're being. But also, treated like, and taught like and he's super hot. What the fuck are you doing? You know. And then Gao Shin's just like, yada yada. <sighs> It's not over. <laughs> then, like, Lady Yokio is just like, this oh is my great. god, I, I made the yeah. best decision ever hiring you. Uh -huh. uh, this, uh. Right. She she gives her a bonus for some reason. It's like, talk about she's doing that. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> like, like, and then just walks, shuffle, 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 mm -hmm. bop. Like, 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 I love, I love anytime you have a character just walk over and do the like, like, yeah, like uh -huh. it's, it's like one of my it's, it's Snape with the newspaper to it Ron. is exactly yeah. Snape with the uh -huh. newspaper yeah anytime physical comedy is used I kind of tend to be like a little okay this is kind of dumb uh -huh. and silly but my favorite ones are when it's the no I would use words but I, I'm too but furious I'm too for furious words I'm too furious for words right. so I'm too bah, furious you know? to even think but then and they're I'll... not hitting you to hurt you it's right. more like the shame on you bad right yeah yeah it's yeah. basically the cats yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly yeah bad nikaido yeah, yeah. 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 right exactly. yeah and and especially if it's in a it's, if the setting is one of like more, serious. more serious or prim and proper right. or whatever right then it's the no break protocol don't care we just what <laughs> yeah uh-huh yep uh. it's like the it's the com it's the comedic inversion of the of the whole point of when mau mau realized like you you saved the 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 poisonous powder and you right what, what the fuck are you right. stupid you know boom you know mm -hmm. this is the like shuffle shuffle shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> yeah. and then shuffle shuffle shuffle, shuffle back it's <laughs> just like yeah feels like something out of a connoisseur episode I oh yeah just, absolutely just absolutely wonderful. but okay all right she's back in the rear palace um mm -hmm. that was uh you know that was a that was a whole little fun little jaunt there mm -hmm. but now we'll get into the maybe more serious side of the intro back with sharks yeah, exactly. well actually i mean there were some sharks out there too I mean, yeah. uh, Audua is, you know, uh, kind of a shark at this point. She's an old, you know, lady, uh, concubine. Just well, I'm yes. waiting old. for my 35. Time. 35. Oh, so old. Yeah. Ancient. <laughs> <laughs> she has only maybe 10 more years of childbearing. <laughs> I mean, hey, at least it's not the situation of the previous emperor where it's like, ah, oh, 35? You're like... 27 years the too old. The previous emperor is Leonardo DiCaprio, but like halved, you know? He's like, hmm, you're 13, that's too old, you know? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Just, ugh. Yeah. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon and get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also, be sure to check out our Twitch channel. So, yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.